he goes burning down, down the white waters. That's where a log driver learns to step lucky. Holding the log rolling log can be even more of a workout for the instructor than the actual log rolling class can be for the student. But the trick is to hold the log with your legs and not with your upper body. When you're in shallow water, you literally get a grip on the log with your legs and then your hands are used to steady the log. If it's a freshly painted log and it's really slippery, then you can actually move up and hold where the carpeting of that log is. Okay, so let's try it. I'm squeezing the log as tight as I can with my legs. Annika's gonna hop up, eyes on the end, move your feet fast. Ready, set, roll, and I move away from the log as fast as possible. And now we'll go and move to the edge. Holding a log along the edge of the pool can be even a little bit more challenging, especially with some heavier log rollers. The key to it is, once again, to not just use your arms, but to rest the log on your legs. So underwater, I cross one ankle over the other and hook my feet and the log actually rests right on my legs. And then to protect my legs, I put my hands in between. So I'm going to hold the log as Ella gets out there. I hook my feet on the I rest the log on my legs and then I protect my legs with my hands and then Ella walks out nicely. And then I give her the cue, ready, set. And I let go and my legs are free, and that's how you hold the log on the edge of a pool. Love to waltz with her log driver, but he goes burning down.